After continuous use, your Everflow on-demand pump might not be working properly. The problem could be a variety of things. In this video, you will learn how to check the diaphragm and valve plate assembly on your Everflow pump. Before getting started, you will need a handful of tools to complete this task. The tools that you need are a Phillips screwdriver and a an hex key Allen wrench. The first step is to remove the hoses that are connected from your sprayer to the Everflow pump. Next, grab your Phillips screwdriver and unscrew your Everflow pump from your sprayer. Proceed now to remove the two wires to the pump pressure switch. Set your Everflow pump aside on a hard surface. Grab your hex key Allen wrench and remove the five screws from the Everflow pump head. Remove the pump head, which will expose the valve plate assembly. Take out the valve plate assembly and make sure it isn't worn or torn. After the valve plate assembly has been checked, remove the diaphragm assembly. Look over to ensure that the diaphragm assembly isn't deformed or torn. Don't forget to check the motor as well for debris. If there is debris, wipe away. Once everything is looked over and there is no visible issues, the pump head can be reassembled. After reassembling your Everflow pump, test to see if your pump is up and running again. If not, there's further troubleshooting that can be done on your Everflow pump. If all troubleshooting options have been exhausted, Everflow pump head replacement kits can be found at your local farm and fleet store. For additional videos, check out our YouTube page. For more general information, visit us at mastermanufacturing.com or contact our sprayer division at the number below.